What is going on, guys? It's Farewell 34, Fail Production 1, and today, I'm so happy! Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 1. Oh, guys, my mind is still, like, melting right now. Amazing uh, season premiere of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 1. Guys, it was amazing. This episode, it was a decent start. It was actually pretty good. I kind of got out of it just a bit because, you know, there's filler. There's things they need to do. There's information that we forgot from a couple months ago that they need to fill in, such as the Inhumans and, you know, oh, Coulson's missing an arm. Oh, the bus is gone. I totally forgot. So there's a lot of things they need to fill in. So dumping right into the episode, we start off with pretty much the opening... I don't even know how to explain it. The opening scene with the brand new Sky, with Daisy being her um, Quake from the comic books. There's a brand new human named Joey who receives some kind of melting uh, heat powers. And basically, he's running through the streets. He just ate these fish oil pills from the ending of the first, uh, ending of the second season. And now he's just like confuses and he's just like what do I do I'm melting shit oh my god these uh black operatives are stealing him in a sense and uh Sky's team come and save him so we see this awesome scene this such a cool scene where he's uh Joey the new human gets stuck in a corner and then Sky comes and like and saves him with this cool like you know kind of like circle mobile hearing thing and it's just really, it's really great scene. There was a lot of great things in this episode from the very beginning. We get to see the team back together again. We get to see Mac. We get to see Bobby. We get to see uh, Coulson with this, you know, arm missing. You know, there's just so much. It's so refreshing to see the characters again after this long. So pretty much the episode goes on. You know, basic things happen between the team. They're just trying to, you know, talk, figure out stuff with the humans, figure out how big the exposure is. Because last time we saw these guys, you know, these fish oil pills, are everywhere. The inhuman Terra Gene Crystal fell in the lake, so now everyone can not be the inhuman. Similar if it happened in the comic books where it was a Terra Gene bomb that went off and everywhere there was Terra Gene mist and people just started turning inhumans left, right, and center. Now, in the movie slash TV universe, um, they can't really do that because, you know, the post 9 11 world that we live in, so I guess the official pills was a great, you know, replacement, which I thought was very effective. So when we see Lincoln in this episode, you know, he's in the hospital now. He is completely done with all ties with S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Inhumans. In the episode, we see our first look at the big bad villain, which is actually Lash. For those who read the comic books, Lash is a character who um, has just been reintroduced recently, and uh, he's actually tied in with the last Inhumans run, where um, these new Inhumans are popping up because of Terry Gimes, and then this dude who has firepower similar to Joe in the episode, not him, uh, he kind of finds him and then tries to help him and he brings him into Medusa and everyone else. So that was a pretty cool amount of the comic books. I don't know if they're copying that directly or not. By the end of the episode, we see that um, the world is actually infected with this Terra Gene Mist. Like, it's everywhere. Like, Colson's on the map while the president is speaking, which is a very big scene, might I add. So the world and the United States, everyone is aware of all these alien uh, things happening because, you know, the Avengers, those get a couple nods, um, all these other events. They even mentioned kind of Thor Ragnarok in London. Uh, not Ragnarok, Thor the Dark World in London. The last scene of the episode is with Fitz and Colson having a very heated discussion after he comes back from Morocco trying to get this thing to save uh, Simmons from the monolith. Now, this is by far one of the best acting I have seen from Fitz and just the emotion that he has in the character and especially the, the impact it has on the audience from seeing three seasons now of his relationship trying to get this girl he loves and just seeing him desperately try even when she always leaves him hanging in the dry it's just so freaking amazing it's compelling to see through the television screen even if the episode was shitty if I get to see just some Fitz you know heartfelt action it makes the episode for me. so the scene ends with him just going up to the model with a shotgun and shooting it and you know just banging on it just pleading to get Simmons or to get any information he can because he of course loves her. The best parts of the episode. So um, as I mentioned earlier, by far the best parts of the episode were the more heartfelt, lower tone moments. Uh, for example, when it was just Fitz and Colson one-on-one -on -one talking about, you know, trying to save Simmons and telling him, you know, like, you have to get over it, you know. I lost my right arm, you know. I lost May, you know. I lost another arm, you know. That kind of, those kind of dialogues were probably one of the best moments of the episode. It really showed the humanity in our characters and how far they've gotten and what they've really lost to get where they are in this ever-changing world of superheroes and supervillains. Another one of the great parts of the episode was when actually Fitz was being very ballsy and went to Morocco looking for Yusuf, and he actually you know, offers a trade for this thing that will help uh, Simmons. 
Now, he does a little kind of bamboozle by them because he gives them these fake kind of weapons that they use in the second season and they get fooled out because obviously they're going to kill him for it instead of save him alive, keep him alive for some stupid reason. So he plans a fake and escapes. It was the first time we see Fitz this season and it was a kind of clever kind of scene which is kind of cool. My number two favorite scene was uh, with Lincoln and Sky in the hospital. Sky is trying to recruit Lincoln which is kind of funny because in the last season it was the opposite and basically Lincoln is just not having it. He says a really good line where he's just like, you know, I was lied to, this inhuman heritage, I don't want to do anything with it anymore, like, I was piped down a lie, and I was regurgitating it. That was so... That's some really good real world problems and actual kind of kind of dialogue that would go down if something similar were to happen, which I thought was fantastic on the writing part. I thought there was pacing issues in the beginning. Now I understand they have to introduce a lot of um, old topics from the last season, and I just felt they didn't do it the best way. I felt the dialogue at times kind of was lacking. And even the cinematography, in my opinion. Another really weak point, in my opinion, was the CG. Um, I just thought it was really bad. Um, even in the good scenes where, you know, Sky's bursting with a freaking Quake Blast, the CG was just, I was not feeling it. It kind of brought me out at times. And another scene was with um, Lash, when it's uh, Lincoln and Sky, and they're both like attacking Lash like this. Like, I just, like the CG was so bad, like I can't see, like, the final end credit scene was <laughs> blew my mind. So we see where Simmons is. Not Fitz, Simmons. We see where Simmons is. So it turns out, guys, Simmons is on some planet freaking across the galaxy. Like, we have no freaking idea where this girl is. That's where it ends up with her just running for her life, you know, trying to mask some dirt to stay alive from something or someone that's trying to kill her. So that's where we leave this episode. Now guys, there are so many questions to ask, like, what is this new bus called? There's a new bus! Um, who is this new Inhuman? Who are these people trying to find these Inhumans? Um, what is Lash doing? Who does he work for? There's so many things we need to figure out this episode. I personally am really freaking looking forward to uh, the rest of the season. Um, there's so much things to be discovered. It's just gonna be so freaking fantastic. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3 Episode 1 review. I hope you guys like it. Please, if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, leave a comment in the comment section saying, what do you think, or where do you think Simmons is? Because I have a really good theory thinking that she is actually on that planet where the Kree is. I think she is on the freaking Kree home. The humans and humans have to be Kree, so that's my opinion so on that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you next time on episode 2 of Peace.